This is your geometry quiz review for surface area and volume of three-dimensional figures. For each of the figures shown, use your formula sheet to find the requested information. First question asks us to find the surface area of a cylinder. And I know we're going to need the radius for a cylinder, and we're given a diameter. So let's start with cutting that in half for the radius. And write our formula down. We've got 2 pi r, and then parentheses h plus r. Plug in what we have now. Enter, and our answer is 1581.8 square inches. Number two, we're asked to find the volume of a cone. And first, we're going to find. Here's our formula. We've got one third pi r squared h, and h is the height which we don't have. There's that piece right there. But we do have a right triangle here, so we can use Pythagorean theorem to find the h. So we do 9 squared plus x squared equals 13 squared. 81 plus x squared equals 189. Subtract by 81. Gives us x squared equals 88. The square root of 88 is 9.4. So now we know that h is equal to 9.4. We'll plug that into our formula. We've got 1 third pi, 9 squared, times 9.4. And our answer is 797.3 cubic inches. Number 3, lateral area. Start with the volume, or the formula for lateral area, pi r, l, and we know that l stands for slant height, which we don't know. So what we're going to have to do is use Pythagorean theorem again and solve for l. So 7 squared plus 18 squared equals l squared, 3, 19.3 equals l, plug that into our formula, and our lateral area is 424.4 square millimeters. Number four. Now let's find the volume of a sphere. The formula for volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. We know what r is, so all we have to do is plug it in and enter, and our answer is 3053.6 cubic centimeters. Number five. We're asked to find the surface of a sphere whose volume is 5,575.3 cubic centimeters and asked to round it to the nearest tenth. So, we're going to have to start with the formulas. We're going to need the formula for surface area and volume. Let's write those out. Now, in order to find the surface area, we need the radius. We do not have the radius, but we do have the volume. So we're going to start on this side, and we're going to plug in the volume that we're given and then solve for the radius. We need to get rid of the 4 thirds pi, so we'll divide both sides by that. And give us 1331 equals r cubed. Cube root of both of those. And r is 11, so now we're just plugging into our original formula. Enter, and our answer is 1520.5 square centimeters. Number six. We have to find the surface area of a hemisphere. So first, we'll start with the surface area of a sphere. Because that's the only formula we have. And then we know that we can cut that in half at the end. So what we'll do, plug in the radius that we're given. So if we're given a diameter, let's cut that in half. Plug that into the formula. And that gives us 28.3 for the surface area of a sphere. The hemisphere would be divided by 2, and that would give us 14.2 square centimeters. Now, since we're looking for its surface area, we're going to have to include this part here because this is another part of the surface after we cut the sphere in half. So we're going to add the base, and since this is a circle, our formula is pi r squared. Radius again is 1.5, so we're going to plug that in. We'll add that to the base of the figure that we already have. And our final answer is 21.3 square centimeters. Number seven. We're asked to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. The formula is 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. We plug these numbers into this formula. Doesn't matter which we pick as L, W, and H as long as we're consistent. So we plug those in. And double check that you've used each number twice here. 
center and our surface area is 252 square meters. Number 8. You need to find the lateral area of a rectangular prism. That's just the sides, not the bases. The formula is lateral area equals h, which is the height, times p, which is the perimeter of the base. We don't have the perimeter of the base, so that's one thing that we're going to need to find. We've already got the height. So the perimeter of this base is going to be 5 plus 12 plus whatever this is over here. And since that's a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to do 5 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared. Solve for x. x is 13, so our perimeter is going to be 5 plus 12 plus 13, which equals 30. Now we've got the perimeter, we've got the height. Plug it into the formula. Our answer is 240 square inches. Number 9. We're asked to find the volume of another rectangular prism, given the information shown in the picture. The volume equals B times A, and B is the area of the base, and H is the height of the prism. Remember, the height is the distance between the bases. We've already gotten that, but we're still going to need to find the area of the base. Since this is a triangle, we're going to have to use the formula for a triangle to find the area of the base. One half little b times h. In this case, little b is going to be 10, h is going to be 12. I'm going to plug that in. Enter. We've got 60 for the base. And we have 25 as the height, so plug those into the formula. And our answer is 1,500 cubic inches. And finally, number 10. I'm going to find the volume of this square pyramid. Okay. So, let's start with the formula. One-third base times height. We don't have the height, so we're going to need to find that. We need to area the base, but we can find that pretty easily. The area of the base is going to be one side times the other, since it's square. It's 8 times 8. I think it's a 64. Now we need to find a height. Remember, we can always draw a right triangle in the center. And we'll solve for H this time. So h squared plus 4 squared, remember this is half, equals 6 squared. h squared plus 16 equals 36, h squared equals 20, and h equals 4.5. So we're going to substitute that in there. So we've got our h, plug everything into our formula, and our answer is 96 cubic inches for the volume. This pyramid. And that ends your quiz review for surface area and volume of three dimensional figures.